Hi, my name is David Cole and I'm the Assistant Principal of Teaching and Learning at St Philip's Christian College in Cessnock. I'd like to talk to you today about some changes and improvements that we are making to our academic reporting processes. As a college, we want to provide students and parents with targeted feedback on learning, which can be used to set goals for improvement. We know from research that this feedback is most effective when it comes to you quickly, not several months later. We also know that as parents, it's crucial for you to know how your child is progressing in their learning in order to best help them. Therefore, as a college, we are moving to a system of progressive reporting. This will operate slightly differently depending on the year group of your child. But what this means is that we will be giving direct feedback on assessment tasks to both you and your child through our iLearn system. This provides helpful data on how your child is tracking in their learning relative to their peers. Depending on the year group of your child, this will also provide a great estimate of their progress at any given time. Ultimately, we are making this change to provide both parents and students with more immediate feedback on the strengths and next steps in learning for each of our students in years five to 12. As you will now have more immediate and specific feedback for each assessment task, this will also reduce the need for some of that data and comments that are occurring in mid-course and end-of-course reports. The college will still produce these formal college documents, however, we'll be streamlining and improving the information in them to complement the subject-specific information available through iLearn and avoiding unnecessary repetition. Our Year 12 students will still retain the current style of mid-course and course reports, as we know that these reports are frequently used by employers and university entry pathways. So let me show you now how to access this information on iLearn and the wealth of amazing information that's available to you. So when at your computer, if you open a web browser and go to myspcc.cessnock.spcc.newsouthwales.edu.au, you should be met with our MySPCC login homepage. Enter your username and your password. You should then be met with our MySPCC homepage. Clicking on the MySPCC banner in the top left hand corner will reveal a navigation drop down menu. On this drop down menu, you should see an option titled MySPCC iLearn. Clicking this will take you to the iLearn homepage. So once you're at the iLearn homepage, you should see a graphic of each of your children enrolled at the college over on the right hand side of the page. If you select the Grades option under the relevant child, this will take you to the Grades Summary page for that child. Now I'm going to take you back in time here and show you what this will look like when there's data filled in which will come out over the course of this year. One thing that you'll notice which I'm going to talk about which isn't here is an auto grade function which isn't currently visible but will become visible over the course of this year to you as a parent. At this page, as the auto grades begin to appear throughout the year, you can get a quick snapshot of achievement in each of your child's subjects. The grade shown on this page is an auto calculated grade based on their achievement in formal assessment tasks completed to that point in the year. You can therefore see an ongoing estimated grade achievement of your child at any point in the year without having to wait for a formal report in the middle or at the end of the year. I'll note here that for years five and six, because grading includes teacher judgment of progress in addition to formal assessment samples, an auto grade will not be visible to you. If you choose a subject that you want to learn more about and click into this, this is going to drill us down into a deeper layer of data. Let's choose, for example, the year 11 PDHPE option here. As I drill down into this layer of data, I'm going to be seeing a rich depth of information about this child's progress within that specific subject. For each of the assessment tasks that your child has submitted, you should be able to see a few different things. The first thing you'll be presented with is a box and whisker graph. This can look a little bit confusing at first, but once you understand what you're looking at, they're quite simple to read. The top and the bottom blue lines on the box and whisker show you the maximum and the minimum mark range achieved by all of the students that submitted that assessment. The ranges in between are divided into four groups, each representing 25% of the students that completed that task. The red dot on that graph represents where your child achieved. 
So I can see here, looking at the first assessment task, that this student achieved in the top 25% of students. However, I can see looking at the next assessment task, they actually have improved their achievement relative to their peers as that red dot has moved up the graph. This graph should therefore allow you to judge how your child is performing against their cohort in that subject. This can be really helpful to know. For example, you may feel that your child's mark is lower than expected, but you might see here that they have actually still continued to achieve at a similar position relative to their peers. This could be something simple like the task or that unit was a more challenging task than the other ones completed in that year group. You'll note here that we don't give a specific numerical rank. This isn't something that we feel students at the college need to become fixated on. As a parent, it's very helpful to know where your child is achieving relative to the group, and this graph shows that. However, whether your child comes second or third is less important than their learning progress. The second thing you should notice here is as you hover over an assessment task, it will pop up with any feedback that your teacher has written and their actual achieved mark on that task. We're asking this year that teachers write a specific comment for all assessment tasks that outlines what that student did well in the task and what their next steps in learning are. Our goal here is to provide specific and direct feedback to both you and your child about what they can focus on moving forward. Now, if I scroll down and I choose a particular assessment task, I can click on the name of that task and drill down further into a final layer of data here. Here I can see the specifics of what that task was about, I can see what my, what my child submitted for that task, and I can also see another layer of feedback that's going on here. Here you should be able to see the marking rubric that was used in that task and where your child achieved in relation to that rubric. This will provide really helpful information to you about the level of your child's achievement in the specific aspects of that assessment task. This is crucial for setting that learning goal moving forward. Note here that for tests and examinations, there will be a comment and an overall achievement mark, but there may not necessarily be a specific marking rubric due to the nature of the task. Here, you can also see any additional information or comments that a teacher may have uploaded or attached to the task. So as you can see, there's an amazing depth of information available to you in this system. From a quick snapshot of your grade progress of your child right down to the specific performance in aspects of the marking rubric, we feel that this data will be beneficial for you in not only understanding the progress of your child, but in supporting them best in their learning moving forward.